Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, guys. Welcome to another reading. If you do need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Let's see. Definitely, I see that there's been an ending here, okay? You ended things with someone, they ended things with you, okay? You have reconciliation on your mind. Or the judgment, that's just a final decision. Take it how it resonates. This person out here with the five of cups in reverse is someone's moving on or wanting a reconciliation. I think you both want it. The five of cups in reverse is also moving forward, no longer crying over spilt milk, but it's also moving on. We'll see. We have the seven of swords in reverse here as your current situation, which is someone feeling guilty, someone who has a tendency to keep running back to you. Okay. In your feelings is the knight of wands here. So yeah, you, 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 you feel very passionate about this person, okay? But you definitely feel like this person is someone who's very in and out, inconsistent. Three of Pentacles on their side, they want to work on this partnership, okay? They want to work on this connection. They want to work on this partnership with you. What you're doing in your actions is the Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting and watching, re-evaluating, taking a stock of the situation, how much investment you've done. And now, do you want to invest further or not? Because Knight of Wands, you're dealing with someone who is very fickle, right? Very flaky. Ten of Swords is what the what action they're taking. I think they're putting an end. Uh, they're overstressing, over exaggerating. They feel like a martyr here. Okay, I feel someone's being a. Um, that's a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing. But we'll see. The outcome is the Four of Pentacles. So someone's holding on, not letting go. What's the Seven of Swords in reverse here? Why is this a current situation? Yeah, this is someone who's feeling guilty about not committing, okay? Someone who's running away from commitment. You could be dealing with someone who's non-committal, someone who's just very in and out of your life, someone who probably uh, just commitment phobic is what I'm getting, okay? This person's feeling very guilty. Either this person's feeling guilty about breaking a long-term commitment or this person's just um, has a tendency to run from commitment, okay? Why is the Hierophant in reverse here? Yeah, see King of Cups in reverse. And uh, they're emotionally unavailable. This person has trust issues when it comes to committing. Okay. And they're being very closed off emotionally right now. With the lovers here, there's a strong soulmate connection that you both have. Okay, a twin flame connection. That's one of the reasons why they're coming back away. They, they keep coming back to you. This is your twin flame. They'll go wherever they want, but they'll keep coming back to you. All right. Till they don't learn their lessons. Till you don't learn your lessons. But yeah, you're definitely dealing with someone who's just not on the same page with you. This person's at the same time being emotionally unavailable, okay? What's the judgment on your mind? Why is the judgment on your mind? Why is the judgment here? On this person's mind is a final decision not to give something a second chance. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse here. Someone's finally making up their mind and they don't want a new start here. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse here? So, Bogo, you don't want a new start with this person because you've been doing this over and over again with this person. You have like a millions of false starts with them. And now you don't want to repeat the same mistake. You're bored. You're done with this situation is what I'm getting. Ace of Wands in reverse, please. Yeah, see, you feel the connection too with the lovers here. Either you need to make a choice or you're making a very, very difficult choice here, okay? But I feel you're making a decision here which is the best for your highest self, okay? And it's a very tough choice here, but you're just making a choice of making a final decision of not wanting a reconciliation with this person. Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. You're pretty clear about this, okay? You're pretty clear about this. What's the Five of Cups in reverse on this person's mind? This person has a lot of regrets about what knight of cups here yeah see this person's coming towards you wanting reconciliation they are they want a reconciliation with you okay ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck they want a commitment they want to start brand new but they want a practical stable start with you what's the knight of cups they're rushing in is what i feel what's the knight of cups they no longer want to cry about spilt milk. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Four of Cups, but this person fears rejection. This person is ready to give you an offer, okay, or whatever. They're receive, ready to receive an offer. I feel this person was someone, you know, who was constantly... I think this person kept you in the back burner, okay? So when you gave them the offer of wanting something stable, they, didn't, they refused to take up that offer, you know? 
because um, and now they're feeling very neglected by you they have fear of rejection they want to come in towards you okay letting go letting the bygones be bygones okay they're done crying over spilled milk they want to pick up the pieces and they want to rebuild this connection okay and they they have a lot of love for you but again what's stopping them is that they're fearing rejection they feel you won't take them back what's the knight of wands what's the knight of wands four of wands in reverse see you feel you're dealing with dealing with a player okay because there is a lack of commitment here there's a lack of you guys coming together okay a lack of harmony stability security there's just a lot of insecurity this person makes you feel very insecure in the connection something's just not getting committed you know about the knight of wands i feel you do have a lot of passion for them okay but somewhere somehow you feel you're not reaching that point of being on the same page okay you want something long term but this person refuses to do that and probably I feel that you feel this person is a player. They're always in and out, okay? Because of which you feel that things are not stable between you guys. What's the four of wands in reverse? See, four of swords, yeah. And you're just choosing to stay quiet, okay? You're just not doing anything about it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. You see this person as very in and out of your life, okay? Or maybe you have question, passion for this person, but it's just not getting to that point of long term, okay? And with the Four of Swords, yeah, I think you're just thinking about the situation, trying to process things, okay? But you're taking a break, you're taking a breather. You're not doing anything about it, okay? You're just analyzing by retreating and taking a step back. Very withdrawn energy from your side. What's the Three of Pentacles here? Now this person wants to work on a partnership with you. What's the Three of Pentacles? Page of Pentacles, yeah. They're coming in with an offer, a small offer, okay? Now this can be an apology, this can be a gift, this can be an offer of starting something stable, okay, with you. But definitely a lot of stability, security, a lot of value attached to this, okay? What's the Page of Pentacles? Nine of Swords, yeah, they're stressing about this offer because Queen of Swords in reverse here, they see you as someone who's cut them off. They see you as someone who refuses to listen to them, refuses to talk to them. You're in a very nasty energy right now, okay, very nasty energy. You're being a bitch right now. You're just not ready to listen to them. Like you're just shutting them off, okay, because your past experiences with this person here has led you to get, you know, to this point of where your approach is really very negative towards them okay you're being very negative i mean they see you as someone who just refuses to even listen to what they have to say because you've given them too many chances in the past is what i'm getting okay that's what's happening here and they're stressing they're up at night they're thinking all day all night about this new offer that they want to make towards you but again they're coming in as a page here okay so they're like coming in a little immature making a very small subtle offer here but at least they want to start somewhere What's the Empress? Why is this the mutual energy? You both want growth and expansion out here. And you, at least one person out here more than the other sees things for what they are, okay? Very clearly. What's the Two of Swords in reverse? What's the Two of Swords in reverse? See? You both have such a strong soul tie connection to each other, okay? With the Six of Cups here. You both feel this connection here. You both see the reality of the situation, okay? And you both know that this is something that you both want. You want growth, expansion. You both see each other in your future. Yeah, that's the mutual energy. This person stressing about the offer because they fear rejection here. They have a lot of love for you. You, on the other hand, here, you feel you're just dealing with a player, someone inconsistent, in and out, flaky, you know, like fly by the day kind of energy. You feel the soulmate twin flame connection out here, okay? But still, you're making, you're forced to make a decision of letting this person go. You just don't want this new start with this person because you feel it's just, it's just a situation that just gets nowhere, you know, ultimately. What's the seven of pentacles? Yeah, Three of Cups. You're waiting for this person to come towards you with a reconciliation. What's the Three of Cups? What's the Three of Cups? Ten of Pentacles in reverse here. So in your action here, I feel that you're waiting for this person to commit to you, okay? Because something's just not getting committed. You're okay with the reconciliation. You, you want this reconciliation. But you're going to wait and watch if you still want this or not, okay? I mean, if you're going to invest into this connection. 
because for you in your actions still 10 of pentacles in reverse you still feel something is just not committing okay or something's just not uh, stable and secure okay in order for you to invest into it so yeah you are waiting for this reconciliation you want this reconciliation okay but again I'm, i think you're taking your own time you're not talking much you're not saying much about it you're just being very patient with the process because this has this is something which led to a breakup okay the 10 of pentacles in reverse is a lack of stability security within the relationship which is why you're taking stock you're going back from the 10 to the 7 and you're taking stock of the situation like do i still want to invest into this person or this situation anymore again three of cups you want to come back with this person but you are real conflicted here what's the 10 of swords here in their actions is the 10 of swords what is this 10 of swords this person is going nuts from the nine of swords they're going to ten of swords here what's the ten of swords this person is really stressing a lot about this three of so three of wands in reverse what's the three of wands yeah no wonder the four of pentacles the outcome this person's putting an end okay this person's overthinking over analyzing okay they feel you've given up on this situation okay and they feel you've withdrawn here with the hermit here i feel this person is not going to talk they're not going to make a move because this person needs a break this person needs some time out because the 10 of swords is a very heavy energy you know this is someone who's hitting rock bottom you know the worst has hit them right now they feel you've given up on the situation out here okay and that's why they feel very backstrap betrayed more than anything they feel they're just their feelings are very over exaggerated right now okay they're feeling very like a martyr here they feel like they've, they've just been left out this entire scenario backfired on them and they just feel I, i'm getting constantly they feel you've turned your back towards them okay and with the hermit here this person's going is ghosting you okay in their actions i think they're ghosting you i don't think they have anything to say much because that's the outcome here with the four of pentacles no one's doing it you're waiting for them to come towards you but they feel that you're not coming towards them things have completely ended between you guys you've given up on them and which is forcing them to go in their shell okay in the nutshell with the hermit here they're being very withdrawn isolated they're trying to do a lot of soul searching about how when why what where okay they need this time off what's the four of pentacles why is this the outcome high priestess in reverse here okay someone's holding on because there was some information that has been revealed what's the high priestess in reverse ah i guess you're you know what i think even though in your actions even though you want this reconciliation with this person you're not doing anything about it okay you're just sitting put and with the ten of pentacles in reverse here i feel you're putting an end to this okay you are see four of wands in reverse here this is an end of a long-term commitment right this is a breakup separation you're not doing anything about it so they assume it's over between you guys four of pentacles they see you as holding back okay because there's some information that has been revealed which is leading to an ending here in the outcome here something's ending between you guys here this is a very pivotal moment in your life or their life okay but a big phase of your life is ending okay with the death here now the death to me does not always mean like an ending this is also new beginnings right the death card to me is something good because this is where someone is going to go through a huge massive transformation you won't recognize this person or your relationship is going through a huge transformation here i know that this is not the ending here okay this is not the ending here it's just that someone um it could also mean that someone's holding back because they're not being able to trust their intuition they're more operating more from their ego here which is leading to an ending here okay it could be anything i'm getting a lot of scenarios but something your relationship in the outcome here finally is going to go through a huge transformation okay while this person here in the hobbit here right i think this is the person going through the transformation here and this death card is required here okay if this if this relationship has to come back very strong and has to come back from a very strong foundation then this death card is required here i think there is one person here who's still not being able who's having a hard time trusting their intuition or oh, the other way is that again someone's holding back some information okay someone's being secretive about what they're thinking which is leading to an ending here okay so or this could just be someone here who's just sneakily going through transformation they're just sneaking away and ending things 
anything okay because i do see this person here as uh you know they're being very traumatized right now because they just feel again they feel you're turning your back towards them okay and with the hermit here this person is just choosing to withdraw themselves instead of coming towards you because they're stressed right they're the nine of swords here this is like worry anxiety panic mode okay they're thinking about you a lot, which is leading to overthinking, overanalyzing. And finally, with the 10 here, this person was very close to completing a cycle. You should let them complete a cycle, okay? They're not resting, recuperating, rejuvenating like you, okay? They're not healing with the four of swords like how you're doing. In fact, they're overthinking and pushing themselves to a zone where um, it just has to end, you know? It's not getting better. So the cycle needs to end for this person. And this is this person here who is going to go through a huge transformation is what I'm getting, okay? That's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. If it does, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.